Today, we combine the best of strength and beauty with a project sure to make you the cool kid on the block when we install the standard, standard plus, and forward L brackets. Here's how. Only two kinds of people in the world, those who do dumb things and those who watch them. And those who watch always guard their eyes from flying debris. Safety goggles are a thing. Wear them with pride. And if you're kicking up dust, wear one of these, some earplugs, and keep your skid on with gloves. Helps you grip your tools better, too. Now let's gear up. To do this job right, dust off your tape measure, a carpenter square, an oscillating multi-tool, a drill, a 964 inch bit, a number three Phillips driver, a level, silicone adhesive, and a cup of joe. And to show you how straightforward it is to install our brackets, we chose Keith, who has no prior experience installing them. Wait a minute, no prior what? Experience installing brackets. Never installed one in his life. Right. Oh, this will be fun to watch. He'll do fine. Till he loses an eye. Well, that's not very kind. No, but still fun to watch. But you get out of here. And miss this train wreck. Go. Don't get your beans in a grind. Self-inflicted injury, here we come. Put a lid on it. Too late. Now that we're geared up, let's begin the installation. Mark the appropriate mounting locations on the cap of your knee wall. Start 6 inches in from the edges and space remaining brackets 18 to 24 inches apart. The forward L bracket attaches to both the cap and stud, so placement is dependent upon the location of the vertical studs. Next, you'll create the mounting channel for the bracket. But pay attention, because this is important! If your bracket is going to be placed over a stud, you'll need to drive the existing screws into the wood a minimum of 5 eighths inch to allow for the depth of the mounting channel. Because nothing will stop you in your tracks like Biting into a screw. Jumping fingernails on a chalkboard. Don't be that guy. Use an oscillating multi-tool to remove a two and one half inch wide channel to a depth of one half inch. Then remove the excess wood between the lines you just created. It's just like bowling. You spend the afternoon making gutters. You don't score points for bad jokes either. Oh, spare me. Be sure to remove all the material on the mounting channel so you have a clean level surface for seating the bracket. If installing the standard plus or forward L brackets, file down or chamfer the backside to accommodate the weld bead. Place the bracket into the mounting channel, then drill pilot holes using a 964 inch bit. This will help ensure the wood doesn't split. Now, fasten the bracket to the cap using all of the included number 12 wood screws. So sweet! Go! On the standard plus bracket, screw the flange into the back side of the knee wall. The forward L flange will screw into both the back side of the cap and the stud. Use a level to ensure all the brackets are level and plumb with the knee wall and each other. If necessary, use shims to make the bracket level. Now, run a bead of high-quality silicone adhesive down the center of each bracket. Position the top, and it's time to celebrate. Invite friends over, drink from the hose, ring someone's doorbell, and run! Check out our other installation videos or download written instructions at countertopbracket.com. And remember, today's dreams can be tomorrow's nightmares, so do it right the first time.